Hi all, today in this video we are going to discuss about most economical section of a circular channel. Previous video le, namale maximum velocity condition needle le, or most economical section engine arikum namale kandu. Ada yadu, a maximum velocity condition na engil or circular channel most economical ava apple ana whenever the two theta is equal to tan. 2 theta or at angle 257 degree 30 minute we will obtain the most economical section or else I can say theta is equal to 128 degree 45 minute also we can say depth of flow is equal to 0.81 d where d is the diameter of circle the change the ball at the condition number no one maximum discharge on the condition angle what will be the most economical section Apo, evide, maximum velocity condition le chayadha, the maximum discharge condition le chayadha, yollu, velocity equation use de, adepoli, use edana, discharge in the equation use but discharge in the equation na na, na most economical section condition so here let us take a circular channel and depth of water is about y and radius of the circle is r so that oa is r ob is r and od is also r oa equal to ob equal to od equal to r uh, with this details we know that area is equal to r square by 2 into 2 theta minus sine 2 theta so let this be equation 1 and perimeter is equal to 2r theta. Let this be equation 2. So, for obtaining condition for maximum discharge, let us start with the discharge equation. What is discharge equation? Discharge equation is q is equal to area into velocity. Continuity equation and q is equal to area into velocity. So, now again we have to expand this equation. For that purpose, let us use Jesse's equation for velocity. By substituting it, this will become area into velocity c root rs. Again, if you expand its area into just is constant into root of what is hydraulic radius r that is area by perimeter into slope of bed. So, this is the equation. Again, if I take this area inside to inside the square root, this equation will become q is equal to c into root of a cube by p into s let this be equation 3 appo e a cube engane kittiye a agathotu keri kanyale a will become a square so a square into a is equal to a cube so a cube by p into s now for most economical section for most economical section the discharge should be maximum. Q should be maximum. In order to get Q maximum, if I see this equation 3, here slope is constant, just is constant is constant, okay, only area and perimeter will be varying. When area and perimeter both are varying, to get Q as maximum, A Q by P should be maximum. A Q by P should be maximum so if this compound has to be become, uh, has to be maximum then the first derivative of this compound derivative of a cube by p with respect to theta as area and perimeter is in within made of both we have written the equation using theta we will derive we will take the derivative with respect to theta derivative of a cube by p with respect to theta will be equal to zero to be Make, to make this max, uh, value maximum, the first derivative should be equal to 0. Okay. Now, we will take the first derivative of this equation. Let us see how we will do it. So, taking derivative of a by a cube by p is p into derivative of what is a cube. That is 3a square into dA by d theta minus a cube into what is derivative of p dp by d theta whole divided by p square is equal to 0 okay now again if i take this p square into right hand side this will become 0 
so the remaining equation will become 3 into a square p dA by d theta minus a cube dP by d theta is equal to 0. Now if I remove, if I divide this entire equation by a square, how I will get this equation divided by a square? Throughout the equation by a square, I will get this equation as 3P dA by d theta minus a into dp by d theta is equal to 0. Now what we have to do over here in this equation, substitute p a dA by d theta and dp by d theta. For that purpose, let us see what is a. What is a? We have a as r square by 2 into 2 theta minus sin 2 theta. Okay. If I take the derivative of it, dA by d theta, this will become r square by 2 into 2 minus cos 2 theta into derivative of 2 theta, that is 2. Okay. So, similarly, sorry, again simplifying it, this will become as this is equal to r square into 1 minus cos 2 theta. Similarly, if I take the equation of p, p is equal to 2r theta and dp by d theta is equal to 2r. Now, substitute all these details over here in this equation. Our equation becomes 3 into 2r theta into dA by d theta is r square into 1 minus cos 2 theta minus area is r square by 2 into 2 theta minus sin 2 theta into dp by d theta is 2r. This is equal to 0. Now this divide this entire equation with divide this entire equation with r into r square or r cube. I have written is as r into r square means here we have one r and here r square r square and r. So r totally r cube for easy identification I have written it as r into r square. So if I divide the entire equation with r into r square the equation will become 3 into 2 6 theta into 1 minus cos 2 theta minus again minus again this 2 and 2 got cancelled so the answer will become 2 theta minus sine 2 theta is equal to 0. So simplifying it expanding opening up the bracket we can get it as 6 theta minus 6 theta cos 2 theta minus 2 theta plus sine 2 theta is equal to 0. Again 4 theta minus 6 theta cos 2 theta plus sin 2 theta is equal to 0. So this is the final equation of first derivative of a cube by p. From this equation we have to what we have to do has we have to find out what is the value of theta such that it will match this equation. So by trial and error find the solution for what is theta. So if you see the trial and error method we will get 2 theta as 308 degree or theta as 154 degree. Now, what is the value of theta? 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 Minus again 6 into theta 154 degree. Now, single height is theta. Pi by 118 multiply into what is the cos 2 theta. Cos 2 theta is cos 3 naught degree. If you have trigonometric ratio and trigonometric value, we use 2 theta. We use it simply as such. Now, we use cos 2 theta. We use 2 theta. We use 2 theta. Trigonometric function and the upon the three not eight degree angle than a use here plus sine into 
2 theta. If you trigonometric function, you can use 2 theta. 2 theta is the UCM, pi by 180 multiply. Now, if you do this, you can substitute the calculator substitute to 0. Now, if you have an equation, theta and sign values are substitution. Okay. Now, the condition for most economical channel section for the condition maximum discharge is 2 theta 308 degree or theta is equal to 154 degree. Now, again, what we have to do is we have to find out what is the depth of flow. Depth of flow, we will again go and back and see what is the relationship between y and d. Now, we have to figure out what is this is the depth of flow y and the y is equal to y is equal to od minus oc. This equation is the equation of od minus oc. That is the development of the y is equal to od minus od minus oc. Now, this is the radius. Radius is minus OZ. OZ is replaced. For that purpose, let us take this angle as theta. This angle is theta. And the cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse. Or adjacent side by what is OB? OB is R. So, OZ is equal to R cos theta. So, substituting it R minus R cos theta and R into 1 minus cos theta. And then, this is equal to R into 1 minus cos theta. Theta is 154 degree. 2 theta is equal to 308 degree. Therefore, theta is equal to 154 degree. That is the substitution of cos 154 degree. Okay. If you rewrite this directly, you can use the calculator. R into 1 plus cos 60. You can directly use the calculator. You can use the direct value. You can use the cos 154. Cos 180 minus 26. You can use positive cos 26. अब नंग का अंगने कुटी करने वाले वैल्यू अत्रे कुटने आए चीन वाले 1.898 आर द कुट और दिस कैन बी इक्वल टू 0.95 अप्रॉक्सिमेट वैल्यू डर करने 0.95 डी नगर सो द कंडीशन फॉर मोस्ट इकोनॉमिकल चैनल सेक्शन विद मैक्सिमम डिस्चार्जेस टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू 308 डिग्री एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू 0.95 ओके अब हम इधर लड़कों ऐंगने चेंडे तो मानसिलाइन विचारिकनो चेंडे नो कुआ अंदर गले डाउट टेंडे गले आ रही क्या